What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today is Christmas Day or at the time of this recording it is but by the time you see it it will be long gone um, but anyway I am doing a WWE replica belt unboxing. Now guys I have the belt right here it was a Christmas present from my parents this isn't a brand new championship from WWE shop no instead what it actually is is you know what, let me just tell you the full backstory. So recently, I was browsing on eBay as I find myself doing from time to time. I'm sure a lot of belt enthusiasts out there do. Just Googling WWE replica belts on eBay, seeing what's out there, you know, other than bootlegs. eBay's a very risky place to buy belts, but there's always, you know, every now and then you'll find something come up that's like, oh, okay. And uh, that's what happened here. I found this championship. It's an old Figures Inc. United States scratch logo 2008 replica belt based on the first iteration of the wwe united states championship which eddie guerrero first won uh, and that belt lasted all the way up until i believe shelton benjamin in 2008 where it was updated and you know given a bit of extra paint but anyway i found that belt on ebay for 60 great british pounds 60 quid it was and i was like there's got to be something up here. So anyway, I looked at it and I was like, okay, I want to figure out what's wrong with it. Turns out it had a few scratches. There was plating wearing off here and there. There was a bit of tarnish, but nothing that I really thought was that much of a big deal to warrant such a dramatic price drop. So let's see if I was right. I haven't got into this yet. It's taped up. It was gift wrapped, but obviously I've, you know, I've taken that off off camera so I can show you guys just the box. I don't know if this is the box it came in or this is the box that my mum and dad put it in, but it's just an Amazon box. Anyway, let's open it up. I've got my box cutter right here. Gonna quickly just try and slice and dice down the middle. There we go. Oh God, I've got it off the seat. There we go. There goes the tape. Opening it up, do the corners. And uh, yeah, nearly there guys. Quickly grab this bit. Aha! Didn't think about this. So, this must be such an old belt that it's actually got the old belt bag. I didn't even know if a belt bag was included, but I've seen it. And uh, here we go. It's got the old cloth belt bag. This must have been what the old Figs WWE belts came in. It's like a it's like a clothy sort of material, uh, whereas now they come in like a faux leathery suede material not faux leather it is suede faux suede material uh but yeah there it is there's the belt bag for all of you that are interested let's do what you do on youtube when you open a belt i'm gonna unzip it show you guys it first uh real quick let's just have a little look at the back patch you can see officially licensed figures toy company product uh 2008 world wrestling entertainment so let's uh let's open this up it's really floppy this must be such an old belt um that the strap on it is so worn down because these these simulated leather straps are so stiff it must be so worn down that it's just super floppy but anyway without further ado in three two one boom there it is my wwe scratch logo united states championship wow okay there is there is a lot of um plate tarnishing uh, plating's faded, there's a lot of scratches. Oh, I forgot to mention, it also comes with a Matt Hardy nameplate. Now, this isn't accurate to the one Matt had himself, but, you know, it's, it's on there. I'll probably remove it and just keep the, uh, the blank slot underneath. Uh, yeah, I don't, there's no blank nameplate, so it'll just be the black slot. But there you go, you know, it's really floppy. Wow, look at this. Uh, oh, holding it at this angle has also made me realise that the previous owner must have put a slight curve on it, or it's just... I don't know, I'm pretty sure these things shipped out flat as a pancake, so he may have meant to, may have inadvertently put a curve on it, but it does have a slight, ever so slight curve. I'll be doing a very in-depth review uh, later down the line in a couple weeks or next week or whatever. But for now, this is just my unboxing. Uh, one thing that I have just noticed, which is disappointing, it wasn't listed in the item description. We have one of the bolts uh, and the screws that have actually separated from the plate, but I'm pretty sure that's fixable. We'll get around to that at some point. Uh, only a two millimeter replica, so it is very, very like paper thin plates. But you know, I like it. The flexibility on it is crazy considering it's, you know, so old. It's also, you know, the strap bubbles up in places I don't know if you can you can see, but it doesn't it doesn't sit perfectly flat like it once did. There's a good example. Also, the um, it's it, it's ripped through. <laughs> the corner of the plate has uh, stabbed through the strap. 
But overall for £60, I'm over the moon with this thing. I am more than happy with this. Well and truly, you know, it's a belt that's quite paint heavy anyway, so I'm not too bothered about the plating. And uh, from afar, I'm sure that you can see. Uh, on camera, you probably can't even see the issues. As it is right now, this probably looks perfectly fine, and that's all that really matters. But there you go, that was my unboxing of the 2008 Figures Inc. Scratch Logo WWE United States Championship. Do you guys have one of these? Do you have the 2014 Network, lo the network Logo Shop version? They're basically the same, other than the logo change. Uh, let me know in the comments section down below. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Burn!